Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today we have an exclusive. This is quite interesting uh, piece of hardware that we have right here on this table and we're going to take a look at Rec Tectonic Pro. We have 10 keyless keyboard and we have the Tectonic Pad which is comes in a set. You can um, order separately the Tectonic Pad as well because it can be paired up with any keyboard. Now what's the thing about this the tectonic pad is something you haven't seen on the market yet and it's quite interesting because it kind of frees up your hands in terms of uh, less usage of uh, wasd less usage of a mouse and you have loads of stuff going on just on this part right here what's the catch so we have a part inside that's a, actually a sensor that indicates your movement with the palm and by that you can do all sorts of things and adjust it with an application that follows the tectonic pad now we have a keyboard here that comes in a set and you can choose the switches you can go really crazy with this set and uh, let's start with the keyboard even though this is the main thing, even though this is the most important thing of this video, we're going to take a look, a quick look of the keyboard. So we have a 10 keyless version TKL with a REC logo right here at the bottom. Nice, subtle, nothing, something that will catch your eye or distract you in any way. Nice combination of colors with the REC logo going on a space bar and if you decide you can switch it up with a complete red so it kind of goes with the middle uh, buttons as well. So. I chose for this keyboard Getron Brown switches and you can basically choose uh, any Getron switch uh, to be precise. The keyboard has some uh, function keys at the top including brightness adjustment, uh, multimedia buttons, uh, microphone, uh, camera or basically screenshot and it even has a Mac function keys as well which uh, gives you variety of usage. Now this keyboard also has a keycap remover switch remover and you get at least i got two additional switches to switch if uh, one of those is just uh, dead after some time of usage so basically the keyboard is really something else it really it really does have a certain weight and it has a detachable usb type c cable at the back you have four rubber feet that keep the keyboard steady you have a possibility to raise the keyboard with two additional legs on each side of course and you have a cable routing at the bottom so you can pull it through the middle or to the left or to the right depends on your preferences and how you decide to place your cables we have a braided usb type c cable which is quite a right and i always prefer type c and i bet you do guys as well so the tectonic pad what's it all about we have additional usb because you do need to power this thing somehow right so you have a usb going on both sides basically you can choose which side to go it's not detachable but still it doesn't matter because it's uh, something that will definitely have some interest uh, for all of you guys you have even eight rubber pads, rubber feet at the bottom to keep the tectonic pad stable and you can reroute the cable on left or right depending on how you use it and additionally to that the cable is braided. Now when we go to the front side of the tectonic pad we have the pad that is pressure sensitive and at the far right side where you have where well basically where I have the cable currently running you have a button for switching the profiles. Each time you switch a profile, the color changes and you can adjust that in the application that follows the tectonic pad. Now, what's it all about? So like any other new hardware, you do need to get used to it. It's at first you'll most likely struggle like I did to get a hang of it and how it actually moves inside the game and how you actually uh, get advantages with the tectonic pad comparing to regular usage of WASD or regular usage of a mouse or just you know giving uh, you more possibility with the sensor inside helping you 
extra movements, extra shortcuts, or doing basically anything that you desire. You can even scroll up and down. As I already stated, there are loads of possibilities and you can adjust everything through these software. So it gives you a possibility inside the application to adjust the profiles. You have an onboard memory up to eight profiles and you can choose for each profile, you can choose a separated color. So when you switch on the button on the side, you get actually a notification with the color, of course, which profile are you at? So you can go with WASD, you can go with arrow keys, you can go with the mouse movements, you can go with scroll wheel, uh, additional shortcuts, or it doesn't have to do anything and you can place lights off. That's it. Now, the cool thing, it really does uh, give you loads of possibilities and you can even add additional profiles like scroll wheel or mouse. You can adjust the sensitivity, uh, which gives you a possibility to even get more, uh, let's say, more movements with the tectonic pad instead of a mouse or instead of a WASD or whatever you actually do. In addition to that, you can uh, choose the keyboard emulation, keyboard mapping, and what uh, I asked uh, the guys at REC and how will it work, for instance, if you're having your keyboard tilted like so. Because after all, some of you guys and me personally, when I'm playing a battle royale like PUBG or FPS uh, game like Battlefield, I do tend to place my keyboard like this in a certain degree. It's not always the same, but it's always uh, at a certain degree. And they actually made a uh, part in the application, in the software, where you can adjust the angle of the keyboard, basically of the tectonic pad, so that the sensor inside can indicate what angle are your hand, well, your hand is placed. So when you move, it kind of indicates it properly, just like it was straight. So cool thing to add to everything is you have magnets here at the back. If, for instance, like this keyboard, if you want to use this keyboard and if you want to, to order a complete set, it connects magnetically. You can remove it quite nicely and quite easily, but that's a cool feature because it gives you somewhat more stability, but still it gives you a possibility to remove it completely when you don't want to use it or change keyboard, I don't know. Because this tectonic pad helps you not only in gaming, not to, it doesn't only give you advantages during the games, it also can help you during a standard workflow. If you reorganize your shortcuts and profiles just as you like, you could actually do all sorts of things. So yeah, quite interesting. Now, as you can see, the cable is a bit shorter, but uh, they already stated they will put a much longer cable just for you guys to be able to reroute it perfectly because it does go from the side. And here it is. So you plugged it in and uh, we have here everything already pre-adjusted. Let's put it that way. So the REC Tectonic Pad REC HQ software is REC Multi-Control Device Configuration, which you can do wonders, really wonders. And there's a possibility when you actually create profiles to synchronize it with this, and that's basically it. So here on the button on the side, you actually, when you press it, it changes colors as already stated, and you can adjust any, literally any colors. What I noticed during the playtime, um, as I already stated, it's kind of hard at the beginning to get used to the actual tectonic pad and while you use it while gaming, it's uh, an experience that you do need to practice to, per to perfection, to make it uh, worth your while while gaming. And I think this is something, it's not a standard laptop uh, trackpad that you could use with only with a finger. It's more pressure sensitive in terms of movement with the palm and that's how it indicates uh, i don't know if you can see but i'm actually with movements like this i'm actually moving the scroll wheel part well actually scrolling up and down left and right because it gives you a possibility to scroll left and right as well during the game time as already stated i do need loads of practice to get a hang of it but I noticed that it really did give some extra movements and quicker movements because even though you have switches that are insanely fast, for instance, sometimes the reaction is much faster if you just push the palm 
on the side and let's just see here push the palm on the side and it gives you i need to turn this off because every time i move it it actually indicates and works perfectly so every time i want to move somewhere it kind of indicates it moves the player inside the game a bit further than actually i was intending just in time to avoid a headshot or something like that i don't know it's loads of possibilities during the actual workflow and how you could actually use it while working is avoid using the scroll wheel for instance side scroll wheel going left to right doing shortcuts giving you a possibility to either skip using shortcuts on your keyboard or skip using shortcuts on your mouse or whatever giving you a possibility to work in uh, photoshop for instance which will most likely for some of you guys be much easier than standard typing well standard usage of a mouse or whatever you do so in terms of usage for gaming it really does give you a little boost and without a doubt kind of helps you while you move which is outstanding and this is something as already stated and i talked to the guys uh, at rec they told me this is something outstanding well i can confirm it's something outstanding but it's something that you do need to get used to and i've already repeated this a couple of times but as everything that you buy new that is something completely different that you haven't used so far you do need to get used to it and this is a product that has a place on the market that will definitely have a place on the market especially in gaming but you do need to get to know each other quite nicely to get a hang of it uh, in terms of not making some additional and unnecessary movements mistakes or anything similar to that so practice makes perfect right guys rec tectonic pro 10 keyless keyboard and tectonic pad uh, set that comes uh, quite nicely and handy in the uh, same box uh, you get a keycap remover you get a switch remover you get two additional switches detachable type c cable for your keyboard quite outstanding keyboard i might add because it does have an rgb backlight you can choose switches and the tectonic pad which is basically the star of the show the keyboard is i would say just an addition to the tectonic pad and you can check every other detail in the description below so you'll know what i'm talking about if i might have explained something differently or wrong or anything but i think i covered everything about it so guys check rec tectonic pad in the description below gives you more information and finally don't forget to subscribe hit the like button notification bell as well for future content and hopefully i will see you in another one thanks for watching today's video bye bye